We're here at the campus of George Washington University to test students' knowledge of presidential history. Let's see how they do. And who's the first person to sign the Constitution? Thomas Jefferson. Who is the first person to sign the Constitution? Oh, man. Thomas Jefferson? Was the Constitution signed? Or are we talking about the Declaration of Independence here? That's a good question. Who is the per first person to sign? I don't know the answer to that. John Hancock. Oh, crap. Um, couldn't tell you. Could not tell you that. I want to say Thomas Edison. Which president made Mount Vernon his home? I knew this at one point. No, I can't remember that either. I don't, I have no idea. Is it like an obvious answer? Like, I have no clue. <laughs> I don't know the answer to that question either. Who founded the U.S. Navy, established the nation's official currency, and founded the U.S. Supreme Court? Um, it's all one person. Alexander Hamilton established the U.S. currency because he built a bank. I have no idea. Wow. No idea. <laughs> no clue. Which president made provisions in his will to free all of his slaves? Um, Thomas Jefferson. I have no idea. <laughs> um, mm, Hamilton. Jefferson. Uh, Abraham Lincoln. Who is on the one dollar bill? Oh my God, that's actually hard. Um, who's on the one dollar bill? The one is. Okay, hold on. Lincoln's the five. George Washington. Who is the first president of the United States? I'm gonna give this to George Washington. Who is the first president of the United States? George Washington. Who do you think was the answer to all the questions? George Washington. Who do you think is the answer to all of the questions? George Washington. Yes. <laughs>